Every year, athletes try to make the jump from high school sports to the collegiate level. Last summer, it got a little bit more complex as the NCAA made a ruling allowing collegiate athletes to be paid using their name, image, and likeness. Now, athletes are not only balancing sports and school, but also any potential business deals. Uh, I just wanted to do something for the team, so I got everybody a uh, $500 gift card to go to Express. Get y'all on suits, man. Make sure That's just one example of the national phenomenon playing out across the nation. College athletes sharing the wealth with teammates after receiving big money in the form of endorsements off the field. And it's happening here in Montana. I've got a clothing one with up top. Um, the car dealership, I had a, a watch company, just a bunch of little stuff, local stuff. Perhaps not so little. Former Billing senior star and current Grizz football standout, Junior Bergen, received a car after arriving on campus in Missoula, a perk previously unheard of until a big change in the NCAA rules. I just have to do a couple events and some, some signings and uh, some pictures and stuff with the car and just kind of promote their business and help them out and then they helped me out as well. And the bigger the school, the bigger the deals. It hasn't really affected us too much. I think when you have smaller schools, it's probably gonna be difficult. While MSU Billings doesn't expect athletes here will receive the same level of endorsements as seen at larger schools, but even at this level, athletes can receive endorsements for the use of their image and likeness. But it's a perk athletic director Michael Baysmore fears could become a problem. It's exciting, but if I was a young man or a young woman, I would definitely tell them to do their research. The decision where to play now becomes more convoluted, with athletes considering not only decisions about scholarships and playing time, but also where they can cash in on endorsements. We got a lot of guys who are able to take advantage of that, and nobody's really big-headed about it. We just kind of go on about our business. Most athletes will not receive huge amounts. According to the NIL platform INFLCR, the average transaction involving a college football player is just over $3,000. At MSU and Bozeman, $80,000 will be split with 80 different football players, but it's a whole new frontier with more money and a larger impact expected in seasons to come. We come from different places, different backgrounds, and you know, they're trying to help their families out or help themselves out, and so I think it can change a lot of people's lives. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN Sport.